welcome back to unique beauty today's topic i'm just going to share with you how to cook sierra leone stew so we're first going to clean our fish as you can see i'm cleaning it i'm giving the fish a good clean yes so i'm cleaning coca fish the small size yeah so you clean your fish very well wash with vinegar lemon yes or lime then after then i'm going to season using oil add all my seasonings maggie cube all purple seasonings with dry extra chili yes then leave to marinate now i'm going ahead and get all the onions red chili red onions the white onions garlic ginger get them ready so i'm doing it the traditional way i'm going to season the onions and give it a good massage so it will be easy for me when i'm cooking it this is how we do it in africa when we use more onions so when you season it this way leave it to marinate at least for 20 30 minutes so when you fry it it cooks so quickly then it gives you really nice moisture to it yeah it's quite good ladies try it this way yeah so as you see i'm giving it a good massage yeah then later on i'm gonna leave it to marinate for 20 to 30 minutes the longer you leave it the better it is yes then also when you do it this way because you know it is stew you know you're not gonna use water so i prefer to season everything beforehand so when i'm cooking them later it's just make it easy so now i'm going ahead and put the fish on the plate then i'll put it down on the grill i'm not going to fry it i'm just gonna grill the fish it's healthier that way because i'll be eating more oil into the stew so this is why i decide not to fry the fish so i will use that water later on yeah so i'll be putting it on the grill as you see it's really nice you just have to adjust to the eat high and low high and low I'm not going to give you a frame, frame how to do it, really. So then I'm also going to steam my fresh tomato. It just makes the process easy. So when you're cooking it, it's really dry. There's no water, not too much water. Yeah, so I'm using my extra virgin oil. Yeah, look for a good oil because with this stew, you'll be eating more oil. So you, you find a good oil that you know it's good for eating yes i'm going ahead now and fry the garlic yeah leave the garlic to dry a bit that way the smell is not strong then i'm going ahead and add the onions my seasoning onions yeah so be mindful with the salt yeah i'm not using salt i'm only using seasoning because if you use salt then it makes it really salty yeah so be mindful when you're using the seasonings or you can cook it the way you think is best for you so i also changed the pan because that one is too solid i like this flat one it makes it so quicker for me to cook yeah then i'm going ahead now and add the red onions yes red onions so and also check it make sure you stir it a lot you need to stir a lot stir a lot with this stew yeah then i'm adding all my spring onions then all the other stuff they're going in now just go ahead and keep adding them as you're going yeah because everybody got different way of cooking so this is the way i cook mine so yeah well you can do it the way you want yeah but mainly in Sierra Leone, this is how we cook our stew. Yeah, with fish, meat, prawns. Now I add my cooked tomato. As you see, there's not much water. Because that way, when I minimize everything as I'm going, it makes the process quicker and easy. So the food will not bend as well. Yeah, because I seasoned the onions. I cooked my tomato. 
So you see, it's there's less water in there, so which is manageable to cook that way. Yeah, you can go ahead now if you want to add more maggi or salt. Yeah, with me, I didn't add any more maggi. Yeah, because everything was seasoning. So I'm going ahead now and add my fresh prawns. I'm putting it on the side on the side because I don't want it to overcook. Yeah. So you add your bay leaf, you add your other seasonings at this point. You have a good taste because once you add the fish, you will not be stir a lot because you don't want the fish to crunch inside. You don't want the fish to go gushy or something. Yeah, so please you see how easy that was it only took me like three hours to prepare everything and cook yeah the cooking part is very easy it's only the preparing part yeah because i had to do everything this morning fresh grill everything fresh yeah this sauce as well when you want it to taste really nice everything has to be fresh yeah everything has to be fresh guys yeah so you see it's cooked now so this is why you seasoning everything. I give the fish a good seasonings and I give everything a good seasoning. So try to combine the taste together. Yeah, so the taste is really because I use the same seasonings for everything. Yeah. So when you do it this way, everything will just combine at the end. It was really nice. It tastes really taste and really nice and healthy cooking for your family, Sundays, weekend take the time cook very well you all eat because we have a very busy weekdays over the weekend just cook nice for your family it's quite good to cook and eat yes so the stew is ready now i'm going to go ahead and cook the rice so the rice i'll be cooking white rice kind of white brownish but it's not that brown yeah then i'm using coconut then the red i'll be using the red kidney beans as well so i'm using that rice there the tropical sun rice so the pan is eat up now i'm going to add the coconut milk yeah you can use any kind of rice you prefer so just be mindful with the water because you add in the coconut milk yeah so i'm gonna add the coconut milk then later i will wash the rice then i'll add the rice also then add a little bit of salt a pinch of salt because i don't like eating so, too much salt yes then i will add the kidney red beans yeah i wash it i'm using the tin one anyway i also wash it i just want the beans because i did not put them um, Irish potato usually we use Irish potato for the stew like the potato but I didn't manage to get some so that's why I'm using the beans for the rice so I make sure I rinse the the water of the beans so it gives me white anyway yeah I'm not looking for brown it's because I did not add potato into the stew I forgot to get that yesterday yeah and today is Sunday, no way is open, so the rice is ready. It looks fluffy, it's not sticky together. So, just be mindful with the kind of rice you'll be using with the water. Yeah, you, when, while you're cooking it, check it. So, if it you, if you feel the rice that it doesn't have any more hardness to it, then you can reduce the water. Yeah. So I'm going ahead now and have my Sierra Leone fried stew. It was really nice. It tastes really nice and healthy. After eating that, I just went to bed. I slept for four hours. <laughs> it was really nice. I love it. So guys, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and like. If you have Sierra Leone husband, you can cook. If you have Sierra Leone wife, you can just follow me and cook like this for them they will remember you oh you're cooking Sierra Leone stew today for me say yes because Mariama she's cheating cheating me out to cook it yes guys so just follow me don't forget to follow me 
like share yes you also add your bay leaf for flavor anyway we're not having good bay leaf nowadays <laughs> well let's just manage what we have around yeah but try to cook your food it's more healthier it's more healthier and safe please yes all right thanks for watching i hope this video be be it's good for you so you can try the Sierra Leone stew yourself yeah and please if you get to try it comment below and tell me how it come out or if you need any help just text me but i'm also gonna list everything that i look i use below so just check it out okay ladies ladies and gentlemen thanks for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe and follow me for more videos yes for more juicy videos like this that food was delicious i really enjoyed it thanks for watching bye bye see you soon